as crime. Where you go. So I um had my cheese grater stolen. <laughs> I got, I got burgled, uh, not for the cheese grater. I, uh, <laughs> when you get burgled, everyone says the same thing to you. Everyone says, oh, tell you what the worst thing about being burgled is. It's knowing that a stranger's been through your things. You go, no. <laughs> it's not the worst thing about being burgled, is knowing a stranger has my things. <laughs> if they had just been browsing, I wouldn't have given a shit. <laughs> Two options. One, come home, my laptop is gone. Or two, come home and find a stranger in my room going, well, I like this T-shirt, but, uh, have you got it in a large? <laughs> I thought my dad had said I've been burgled. He said, we know why you've been burgled and we haven't. It's because we're in the neighbourhood watch. I said, no, it isn't. It's because you live in Devon. <laughs> a small village in the middle of nothing, but mile upon mile of moorland. I mean, no one's going to burgle you because whatever they took, it wouldn't cover their petrol money. <laughs> Tell, the only proactive thing the neighbourhood watch does is once a month they have a meeting. All that does, it tells burglars for one night out of every 30. <laughs> all houses are empty and unwatched. <laughs> There's this paranoia about crime back in Devon where I'm from. Went back recently, went into the local co-op and it's a tiny co-op in a tiny village. But I went up to desk and there was a sign that said, did you know, we now do legal advice. And obviously my first reaction was, no. <laughs> And to be honest, I was pleasantly surprised he did sugar puff, so... <laughs> Why is the co-op now doing legal advice? There's too many people coming in going, I'll have ten silk cut, a Vionetta, and I've killed a man. <laughs> well done, well done. Well done,